Welcome to wisnotes.com mathematics video tutorials. This video tutorial is on consumer arithmetic and we'll be looking at topics such as higher purchase, mortgages, utility bills, salary and wages. Let's get started. The first topic we're going to look at is higher purchase. Now higher purchase is a system that is set up to facilitate consumers who wish to purchase items but they just cannot come up with a full asking price. So on the higher purchase, the consumers are required to pay a percentage of the asking cost or the asking price of the good and the remaining or the outstanding balance plus the interest the institution is going to charge them, they're required to pay that amount in equal, installment, equal installments over a specified period of time. Okay, so let's look at the, an example. So this example says the cash price of a refrigerator is $8,500. If bought on higher purchase, a 20% down payment is required and interest of 18% is charged on the outstanding balance with payments expected to be made in 24 monthly installments. And it asks us to determine the higher purchase price. Okay. So the first thing we'd have to find out is the down payment amount, right? So the down payment is equal to 20%. So that's 20% of the asking price, which is 20% of 8,500 and that is equal to 20 over 100 multiplied by 8,500. Now these zeros will cancel and we'll have 20 times 85 is equal to 1,700. Now the next thing we'd have to find out is the outstanding balance. So to find the outstanding balance, we'd have to subtract the down payment from the asking price, right? So that's 8,500 minus 1,700. And that is equal to 6,000. Eight hundred, right? Okay. So so far we know the down payment, and once we know the down payment, we can determine the outstanding balance. Now let's determine the interest that the institution is institution is charging them. We already know it's eighteen percent, but let's see the money value or dollar value of that eighteen percent. Right? So the interest. is equal to 18% times the outstanding balance, which is 6,800. And this is equal to 18 over 100 times 6,800. Now the zeros will cancel. And we're gonna have 18 times 68, and that is equal to 1,224. Now, so we know the outstanding balance, we know the interest charged. To find out the total amount that the consumer would have to repay over the 24 month period, that would be equal to the outstanding balance plus the interest charge. So that will be equal to 6,800, which is the outstanding balance plus the interest charged, which is 1,224. And that will be equal to 
and 24 does okay so the higher purchase price then would be equal to the down payment plus the outstanding balance plus the interest charged and that would be equal to so the higher purchase price is equal to what was the down payment that was 1700 plus the outstanding balance which is 6800 plus the interest which sums to 8024 and the higher purchase price is equal to 9724 okay so what we did we first found the down payment amount then we subtracted the down payment amount from the asking price of the good and that gives us the outstanding balance then we find 18 percent of the outstanding balance and that gives us the interest charged then we add that amount to the outstanding balance that gives us 8024 and we add that amount to the down payment and we get the higher purchase price of the good so part b asks us to find the amount of each monthly installment now to find the amount of each monthly installment we first have to recall the amount which they are required to pay over the 24 month period and that amount is the eight thousand and twenty four dollars right no, we're going to divide this by the period for which they're required to pay the amount, which is 24 months. So it's over 24. And that is equal to 8,024 divided by 24 is equal to 334 cents. And that is the amount they're required to pay each month so that is the each month each monthly installment okay so let's look at part c part c asks us to determine the difference between the higher purchase and the cash price so all we have to do is subtract the cash price from the higher purchase price the higher purchase price is nine thousand seven hundred and twenty four and we're subtracting 8,500, yes, and that is equal to 1,224. You should know that this is the same thing as, same thing as the interest charge. Okay, all right, so let's look at the next topic. The next topic we're going to look at is mortgages. And mortgages is similar to higher purchase. Mortgages is a system used to facilitate persons who want to buy goods, but not just any goods like higher purchase. These are more expensive goods like houses and cars. So what is required? You go into the financial institution from which you're looking at the mortgage. They tell you the rates and I'm normally going to require a down payment also you pay the down payment and the outstanding balance which is the difference between the cost of the house or whatever you want to buy and the down payment is they also charge an interest on that outstanding balance but the thing that makes mortgages even an more expensive venture is that you're required to pay because it's a larger sum of money you're required to pay this also in equal monthly installments but over years so mortgages usually last for like 10 to 30 years okay so let's look at an example of mortgages so this example says a new housing development is selling properties for two hundred thousand dollars 
interested purchasers, providing they meet all the necessary requirements, are eligible for a mortgage if they make a 10% deposit. And it asks us to find a deposit amount. Now, to find a deposit amount, we're going to find deposit amount is equal to, so it is equal to, what's the percentage? 10% of the asking price. That's what I say. We're going to make a 10% deposit. So we're going to find 10% of the asking price, which is 200,000. And the zeros to cancel here. And that will be equal to 20,000 dollars. That's the deposit amount. All right? Okay. So part B says the amount for which asks us to determine the amount for which a mortgage is needed. So the amount for which you want the mortgage will be equal to the asking price of the house, which is 200,000 minus the deposit amount, which is the 20,000 that we just found right there. And that is equal to 180,000 does right that's the amount for which a mortgage is needed the outstanding outstanding balance now part c asks us to to determine the total amount paid to the bank if monthly installments of three thousand dollars are made for 25 years so right now we have to put the first thing we have to do is put this 25 years in months because it's a monthly installment that you're going to make so I'm going to put 25 years to months is equal to 25 and how much months is in a year? 12. So I have to multiply that by 12 and that will give us the answer in months. And 25 times 12 is equal to 300 months. Now the next thing to do is to multiply the installment amount which is month installment amount which is three thousand dollars we're going to multiply three thousand by the amount of months which is three hundred and that is going to be equal to so that is equal to nine hundred thousand so that is the total amount that they're going to pay over the 25-year period for which a mortgage will last. Now part D asks us to find the interest paid to the bank. Now the interest paid to the bank will be equal to the amount that they pay back which is 900000 minus minus the amount they had outstanding which was the the amount that they needed the mortgage for that was found in part b and that was one hundred and eighty thousand so the interest they paid back was seven hundred and twenty and it's right that's all that's seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars okay now part e the total amount paid for the house so the total amount that they end up paying for the house is equal to the deposit amount which is the twenty thousand that they deposited plus the the amount that they paid over the 25 year period which is the 900 thousand so they end up paying in all 920 thousand dollars okay 